Don't look at me. Estás bien. Sí. Yo soy Diego. Mi mi esposa Carla y este frijolito de aquí es um, es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Eh, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron uh, cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave, una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Aquí no hacen daño a los niños. Hope that Campbell's almost done with the paperwork. Then we're out and we're not coming back. Ugh, this place is fucking gross. No way I can break through that door without Daniel's help. This guy must be trained not to listen to anything we say. Excuse me. Do you know where my brother is? He's just a kid. Hello? Hello? Ah, uh, got it. Okay. Thank you. Pendejo. ¿Saben cuánto tiempo nos van a dejar aquí? No. Esta es la primera vez que intentan cruzar. Me acuerdo de nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. En realidad... Queremos llegar a México. ¿A México? No mames. ¿Pero por qué? Entonces son gringos. Sí, nacimos aquí, pero ahora tenemos que irnos. Todos estamos escapando de algo. Es la tercera vez que intentamos cruzar la frontera. ¿Por qué necesitan cruzar tan desesperadamente? Por las mismas razones que todos, no pudimos soportar la inseguridad ni la miseria. En México, la violencia tiene muchas formas. No se puede vivir así. Cuando mi hermano fue secuestrado y, y asesinado por una pandilla, nos fuimos. Si hubiésemos podido quedarnos, nos habríamos quedado en nuestro pueblo, pero queremos darle una vida, una vida mejor a nuestro hijo o hija. Es lo que hizo mi papá. Se fue de México cuando murieron sus padres. Para ganarse la vida. Pero yo sé que extrañaba su pueblo natal. Por supuesto. Pero seguro que tuvo sus razones para irse. Como nosotros. No quiero desanimarte, amigo. Pero lo de México... No va a ser fácil para ustedes. Es un país magnífico. Me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero allá va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida con un padre mexicano. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? Los tiempos cambian, pero la gente también. En el camino... Encontré muchos aliados. Ojalá haya menos personas intolerantes en el futuro. Ojalá. Cuando eres extranjero, tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglártelas. Así funciona. Oh, shit. Enough now. It's America. We speak English. We're just talking. No, the problem is you people breaking into my country. We come here to work, not, not steal or live at your, at your home. Diego. No, I am so fucking tired. 
You only come here to cause trouble. And we have to pay for your welfare. You all want a free ride. And that makes me sick. We only want work and, and, and in peace. Yes. An honest job and the ability to raise our child in a safe country. That's all we're looking for. <laughs> That's what you people always say. But the facts speak for themselves. Your facts are just bigotry and hatred. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I hate what you did to my country. Our borders... We have a right to protect our sovereign nation, and we will. Damn right, baby girl. You hunt us like, 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 like animals. I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. See? You love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. We do it for our child. A mother must understand. Now you and your unborn parasite have nothing in common with me and my family. <laughs> what? Maddie. what you say? <laughs> oh, see? There you go. Siéntate, Diego. Solo vas a empeorar las cosas para ustedes. Tienes razón, amor. No vale uh, Whether you people like it or not, we're not gonna give you a break. You're in jail, too. Loser. Why are we stuck down here with them? You know us. We're helping you, goddammit! Hey, you have the right to remain silent, so fucking use it, okay? <sighs> All right. Diaz, you're up. How's my brother? Don't worry about him. Now turn around. Hands behind your back. Okay, let's move it. All right, sit down. Where's my brother? He's doing fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet. Lost some blood, but he's tough. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. You want coffee? Okay. Good. Be right back. Fuck. What did they do with Daniel? I hope he's all right. Of course not. Who cares? Because I'm How am I gonna get myself out of this mess? So tired of all this shit. When will we get a break? There you go. Looks like you need it. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Hmm. 
Okay. Damn. Seriously? No. Yeah. Oh, shit. Coffee's gonna make me feel so much better. Hope Daniel doesn't freak out in here. Jeez. That's quite a crime spree. It's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. Killing that officer in Seattle. Assaulting a gas station clerk. Caught in a, another weird explosion at a pot farm in California. Then you join a religious commune in Nevada. Hmm. Oh. Which ends up burnt to the ground. And we're not even halfway down the list. One of those things you could get away with. But not all that. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Keep your teenage crisis for Agent Flores. She's on her way. She spoke to your mother, who took responsibility for the church fire. That's not true. She had nothing to do with it, and you know it. But sure, throw another innocent in jail. I don't really care. <laughs> I bet she'd be happy to hear that. Listen, I feel sorry for you. I really do. But denying what you did will only make things worse. I did what I had to do. I needed to protect my brother. I know, son. But running away from trouble is never a good solution. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident. So why didn't you wait for the police? No one would have believed what happened. We didn't either. Well, it's too late now. Your case is filled to the brim with evidence. Good news is, your brother's too young to be prosecuted. He'll end up with your grandparents, if they want him. But you're facing a shitload of years between bars. At least he'll get a life. Uh, what I don't get is how two kids can destroy so much stuff. I mean, anywhere you went, something blew up. Seriously. How? What do you want me to say? We're supervillains. We can't help but destroy shit. Yeah, right. Uh, I, I bet the judge will love this. Maybe he'll give you special treatment. Whoa! Uh, what is that? Sir? I don't think you should... Keep your ass in that seat. Sean! Are you okay? How do you feel? I'm okay. Just a little headache. Hold on. Dude, we gotta go. Hold up. Is he okay? I I wanted to rescue you, but I I had to use my power. I didn't want to hurt him. He's okay. Don't worry. People. Well, Carla and Diego, they came all the way from Mexico and got thrown in jail for it. As for the others, they're the ones who tried to shoot you. What? They got locked up? Good. Oh, go to hell. How the fuck did... Hold on. We're gonna get you out. Daniel? 
Gracias. Muchas gracias. Espérenme aquí. Until I check this out. O of course. Holy mother. How'd you do that? How? Well, Time for payback. What do you want now? Your turn, Daniel. Fuck off. Better than this, Sean. They can't threaten us in there. Yeah. You're right. He's up for the count. Okay, oh, hands up! Shit! Don't hands move! Up. Shoot! Hands up! Do not move! Wait! Sean. Stay back, Daniel. Let me think. Sean, what do I do? Quick. I gotta find something. The luck, dude. We got multiple officers down. What's going on? Them now! They're dangerous! Be careful! We will shoot if we need to. Understand? I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm what the fuck? Okay, what the fuck? Do not move! This is our life. Put him in there. Now. Okay. Uh, uh. You're the man. Now let's move. Sean, I think our things are in there. Hey, hey, what did you do? Step you back. Fucking nice. Don't move. I'll be right back. Uh, okay, but be quick. Bet it belongs to one of these trigger happy people. They must really feel threatened to put so much effort into this. After this, you're not gonna hunt shit anymore. Pretty good memory. From a pretty bad place. Look at that. Crime Central. Come on, Sean. We gotta go. We would be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. I hate that he has to use them. Take it out, Daniel. Dios los bendiga. Okay, go, go. Let's roll, Daniel. Hurry, Sean. Drive. Chasing us. Not yet. Emergency. This is an all points bulletin for every unit in the area. Multiple prisoners, two adults, and two teenagers have escaped from the El Rey police station. They are considered armed and dangerous. Repeat. Are we still going to Mexico? Yeah. We got nowhere else to go. Sean. It's the 4th of July. Our first one without dad. You're right. Remember how he was so in the fireworks 
every year. He always made us go too early, so we could get a good spot. <laughs> I know. He was so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country. Sean, we can't let them get us. Sean! Sean Diaz! It's over! Don't make this worse! Get out of the car! Slow! Wave your hand above your head! Do exactly what I say! You know that day in Seattle, the date Dad was shot? I think about it every day, and I would give anything to change what happened, but I can't. I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. But you were the one with the real power, and you know how to use it now. You're not a kid anymore. If we surrender, they will separate us, Daniel. And if that happens, promise me that you will be strong. Be brave. Be a fighter, Inano, like you already are. Don't say that. Let's just get out of here. Please. Don't make any more mistakes. Whatever happens, always remember that you're Daniel Diaz. I promise, Sean. So, how does the story of the Wolf Brothers end?
We can go now. Yeah. Let's go home.